The elderly woman lived alone in her flat in Tabern Gardens, with few to no visits from relatives or friends. She was single, childless, and her parents were dead. By the time her decomposed body was found in the kitchen toilet on April 24, her facial features were beyond recognition. Her hands were so decayed that forensics officers could not leave her fingerprints. She also had no teeth or dental records. DNA pulled from her bone marrow proved futile in identifying her as well. The authorities had tried matching it with her brothers, but it revealed that they were not biologically related. He told the police she was adopted. With all three identification tests failing, the woman was marked simply as unknown. She was declared dead at 6.45 p.m. on April 24 in the flat on the fourth story of Block 48, Tabern Gardens Road. But on Monday, almost four months after she was found, Unknown was finally identified by the coroner as Madam Tam Yok Hing, 66. During the coroner's inquiry into the case, Investigation Officer Io Benjamin Sim said a neighbor living in the unit directly below Madam Tam had water leakage issues from the ceiling on April 21. He was unable to contact her to discuss the issues and so called the housing board, who could not reach Madam Tam either. The HDB contacted her elder brother, who then asked Madam Tam's niece to check on her at the flat. When the niece could not get a response after knocking on her door on April 24, she called the police. The Singapore Civil Defence Force broke the lock at the gate to enter the flat, where they found the body. Io Sim said there were no signs of forced entry or of a struggle, and the police did not suspect foul play. He said the authorities had tried to identify the body using fingerprinting dental records and DNA checks, which were unsuccessful. So, they relied on circumstantial evidence. Neighbours said Madam Tam did not have relatives or friends visit her often. And she did not like visitors because of the state of her home. No details were provided in court regarding this. They told the police Madam Tam would go to the market at 9 a.m. daily but the last time anyone saw her was two to three weeks before her body was found. Io Sim said neighbors had always seen Madam Tam wearing a jade bangle and a metal watch. These two items were found on the body, and neighbors recognized them. State coroner Adam Nokoda said on Monday that as the bangle and watch were found on the body and based on the evidence given by the neighbors, he accepted the body was that of Madam Tan. Her cause of death was hypertensive heart disease, which was consistent with her known medical history. The coroner ruled it was a death by natural causes and extended his condolences to Madam Tam's family.